welcome back to the fake too. Okay, let's try the bus. I know. I think we'll go for the tower. It's easiest. To get anything we need. That's great. For equipment. Do we? Oh, we have only rings. We don't really need any headgear anyway. So let's take a cosplay and for supplies. And supplies will take. Oh, we need gold. And we we'll and we go just like that. We don't need any gold or additional health or anything else. <laughs> Claim okay. this token. <laughs> I hope so because it's very that it happened now. How much the mask trade? Okay. So we can just start with a helmet. What a shame. No. No, not us. Don't you? No, I have no choice. Bring more food. So we can't really play it. Hmm. Uh, 20 gold. Maybe maybe strength then would be better. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything you can A balance of resources is key. No one wants to perish wealthy, but starving. And we will get the headgear from this, because we're gonna be thrown. <laughs> Don't you tie? I know this voice from somewhere. Check who voice is that. It needs 
plus nine, not... Well, that's always better. Give me five. Thank you. Need five more. I'll gain something here. Games within games within oh. games. Prominence to use this weapon. Just give me Gain one more faith. faith. Thank you. Show your worth through action. Sure. I don't care which one. Is. Oh, plus shotgun. It's easier to get. Uh, if we ever get it. Now um, we only need to find Bellas. Leave it. Leave it. 
wird. In a scarf, he has entered the manor of House Bashar. Exquisite candle brass hung from the vaulted ceiling. Intricate carvings and silk tapestries decorated the walls, and everywhere, everywhere, mingled the masked creatures of the masquerade. A few shadow beasts expressed surprise at your presence, a human not intended for the feast. But when they notice the glowing ring on your finger, they move on. The goblin nods in the direction of a beast in the thick of the crowd. Velas. Robin whispers to you. He intends to challenge Perrin to a duel at Kurban, the ritual burning at midnight. We must find out who can trust. The stench of blood per permeates the halls. Somewhere, the string pot takes up the melody. Let's make conversation. We approach a shadow beast with a mask lined of inky pearls. He seems wholly unperturbed by him and not part of the blood sacrifice greeting him. Ah! He raises a bejeweled claw to you, for you to shake. You must be those mortal lucky. His great... <laughs> His grey tremble with silent laughter at your startled expression. Lord of Velas' mind has told him this in his century in the pits. The power in the train could hardly convince a mortal child to its sweets. He nods at your companion wandering around the party. Yes, I know that the Lord Velas is here to kill your pearl. Shall I inform the manner of the impending murder? No? The old shadow beast nods. For your blood, I will not reveal Lord Velas. His yelled fine puncture first. That's a lot. Would you mind? Thank you. We clear wrap a cloth around the bloody wound. I must confess, the beast admits his grey wrist-crest flaggered with red. I am not the only one to know the Velas' plan. In truth, many of us here know of the young Lord Perrin's folly. The kingdom of Lysahora does not take the breaking of all slightly. I will stand with Velas, as will many others. Although he is brash and foolish in his choice of allies, the old beast sneers. Lord Velas will return to House Lashar. Once the Oathbreaker's blood is spilled, I, Lord Semik of House Kapua, support this. The great timepiece on the wall ticks closer to midnight, tries to You head to a table spread with an elaborate assortment of cold food, sweets and breads. You are about to try a choice morsel of something glittering and smelling of lavender when you hear two shadow beasts discussing House Lashar and Velas. You keep your focus on the table of snacks and begin eavesdropping. <laughs> oh! House Lashar really has fallen this in these past centuries, the red cloaked mom mothers. The blue cloaked Viscount Cars. First, their mother declares their allegiance with Golden Town. Simply absurd and frankly disgusting. Then she passes back to Shadow only for her sons to tear a sharp apart with their feuding. The red cloak shakes his hands at House Lashar's tragedy. By the by, they say the lost relic of the queen lies behind a tapestry of a horse in this very manner. Sure enough, behind the tapestry you find a smooth chest. The great timepiece on the wall ticks closer to midnight. The smell of fresh blood leads you to the ground staircase, spread upon the marble steps in an assortment of animal carcasses split and split again. The rare silks of the shadow beast's vestment trail in the gore as they gnaw on the bones. There is little else to see here. The cloak strikes midnight and the ritual burning begins. The guests part, making way for an elegant stone ta tablet bearing a bloody offering piled high with corpses. Walking solemnly behind is a young shadow beast carrying a bronze sword, the masquerade's host, Perun. Perun, you traitorous cat! Velas appears behind his brother like a phantom. The young Perun moves with the grace and speed you attribute to the shadow beast, narrowly dodging a killing blow. There is a gasp from the crowd, but no one intervenes. Velas' claws and fangs lengthen spurred by rage. He slashes for Perrin's throat. I spent a century in that cat speed. The hope that she was alive and all that kept me from returning to the shadow forever. The torch tumbles into the curban offering and the sacrifice bursts in into flame. Perrin slumps to the floor, blood sipping from his throat, his brother Velas standing triumphantly over him. Brother? The young shadow beast falls at the black blood saying his I never broke the deal. Then he is still. 
Ballester is blunt that is broader, that broader than the rage, st the rage still burning in his eyes. It seems as if only you heard Prince's last words. The crowd parts again for the returned head of the broken half of her, Lord Velas. A reward well earned. Okay. Now that's interesting. I can tell you it's the one with the pearls. He found all that. Or maybe Valis killed his love himself. I wouldn't be shocked if it was the truth. Because we've tried the server challenge so many times. Yeah, <laughs> right. Can we not help you? No, we can't. And it's the L there of Shadows Over. Huh. Okay, he's a big guy. As dark as touches light. Let's keep on standing. Equipment food. Thank you. Seriously, though, where is he? I, f I put it in the bag. In the ground. Oh, we can use him. Death lurks on all sides. Watch yourself. 
The losses return to House Lashar as the rightful lord is observed in the manor and celebrated by the older houses in a feast accompanied by strange rituals. Veles, Veles pulls you aside before the ceremony or gifts. He has been acting quarrelsome lately and even more so today. Listen here. Other Gorban, Veles mutters. At the masquerade, did you uncover my enemies? You have more eyes than you would think. Those eyes widen. You shock me with your naivety, Finn Grubben. The ceremony begins. One by one, the house of Lisa Hora brings forth gifts to place on the days covered by pale flowers. House Cochet presents gifts of emerald waters. House Susdell presents gifts of pine and smoking berries. Then, a small group of shadow beasts steps forward wearing no gifts. The talents lengthen as this man dies. Fiends! Velen's far gross in kind. What is the meaning of this? You draw your weapon and join the fray. The other shadow beasts stand back, observe the melee. Okay. tries to ward the last living assailant, lifting him off the ground by the horns. Which house sent you? She leaves Phyllis! The shadow beast whispers weakly batting at the little's grasp. Phyllis grips the bear's beast's horn tight, tighter, a desperate fear crossing into his monstrous face. Who lives? You love? His next word are cut short by Phyllis staring at his throat in a frenzy, flinging the severed head away into the crowd. They part silently, watching the head roll down the stairs. Velis looks desperately around, then to meet your eyes. She's alive. Oh really? Now you believe him? <laughs> you didn't believe your brother, but you believe in some, someone who tried to kill you. Huh. Then whose school are you... ...walking around with? Lisa Hora. I think we can do, the, or do this one as well. 
Brimstone. Oh, this is a brimstone card, so I need to get. No. What is this? Nope. Okay, and Empress. No. Oh, we need to go for the longer one. God damn it. Aerophant? I don't know where Brimstone. Okay, here we can put the Sahara. Oh, I hope I put them in the deck. Mm, That's for the assassin. Okay. Not the this one. All we need is this one. That spike mace, no, not really. And that we need to do this as well. Sort of right. <laughs> So, in order to not make this too long, I'll get back to you when I found the right account. So, be right back. I do not think. Okay, that was welcome. Cool. The bloody conclusion of Velus's coronation last minute with little fanfare. Velus waits alone in the cold, empty Lashara Manor. He looks up as you enter. She is hiding in the Sahura, the Shadow Realm, as you call it. I require blood. Blood enough to take us both into the Lisa Horror. I thought I could face her on my own, but I cannot. House Lashar is all but gone. I need your hand in this fight. So you need 200 health, right? Mm. Sure. For what? Mm -hmm. What is it you sustain with your own mm. self? Lots of food. Oh, hello. That's it. That's good. Six food, unless I can sell something. Number two. She requires fight. God damn it. And goblins. God damn it, goblins. <laughs> Hitting again. Just give me back my stuff. Oh, I appreciated. Lots of food. Not as hungry. Ooh, 
that's very bad time for this. Yeah, especially when we get outcome like that. Mm, thanks. No, I'm not giving you my gold. We're gonna fight. I was wondering why I never do that. Thanks. Your supplies are running I know, low. I don't care. I can Make your choices more. carefully. To do this twice, but I'll your own life slips away. Ash, I'll restore my life and now we will get the last. Yep, first form begin to flicker. This is a horse dangerous place. Are you ready for the journey? Yeah, now you will see the stranger at his prime. The beast's pupils contract and then brighten to searing red. His yellow fangs grow as his horns curl. I am ready, sir. My love will face my wrath. You take a great risk, 
confronting Shadow on its own terms. We return to Shadow now. Bellas grips you by the collar and you feel yourself slip into oblivion. It is quiet and dark, but you see the shape of what must be Bellas ahead. You follow your footsteps, making no sound in the pitch black. Then the darkness recedes, and you are overwhelmed by the sound of Corus's ticking clock. You find yourself suspended in a factory parody of the La Charma ballroom. Broken pieces of columns and furnishings hang gently in the ether, and everything is still tinged in an otherworldly violet light. Your head swims. Bellas appears beside you. Welcome to the kingdom of the Sahara, sir. Now, let us see if my love will take the bait. Sure enough, a party of shadow beasts join you in the void. Draw your weapon. I love that weather changed outside the carriage. It's now storm. It's fabulous, it's amazing. Shadow Beast called Love Madness. When activated, Velis performs a series of verbal strikes against multiple targets. Stay close to try and charge us up really faster. Now, all of this comes to an end. Now the deal is done. Shadow Beasts arrive to replace the others of the four, Bellas begins to tear as his madness wanes. So no more blood madness? Okay, now we need to be more careful then. As the final beast falls, so too does Velas, exhausted. A slender figure suddenly joins you into a self aura. Her eyes are framed by scarlet markings, and a crown of vicious horns rises from the top of her forehead. This could be only Velas's love. She raises a dull curved knife, leap forward, desperate to intervene. Velas does not move. Then, in a fat green flash, Robin appears and swats the knife from her hands with a heavy sword. Once more you ready your weapon, new exhausted Bellas gets to his feet. Hello, Bellas. Oh, hello, Bellas, his love snaps. Are you going to kill me? Your companion blinks a terrible yearning in his eye. Why did you do this? She growls. It was easy. You fought with peril. The school in the cave. Even your uncle, Baron Kresnik, agreed with my sentiment. 
House Lashar is the hobbling disgrace of the Sahara. He respects no traditions, showing our ancient secret of the goblin filth, Shaken says. No, are you going to kill me? No, I could never do such thing. She laughs, smoking green fades from the shadow realms. A final board of shadow beasts blink into confrontation. Hello, Grubbin. Nice to see you. What are you doing? This oh. ends now! Okay, I have no idea what this is done, but I love it. Yes, we kill this one. Hey, 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 hey. Way too much. That's why I'm trying to focus on just You stand with Valis as the broken pieces of his manor trap tumble gently around you. Sweet little Sahara. We of the list are not of your realm. This place is our true home. We use it to hide and appear where we need to, at the cost of our mortality. This place calls to us as it does to every living being. With it turned into the list, it is more and more tempting to remain in shadow forever. Can you? Teach me to enter the shadow well, like Robert? Perhaps I could. Okay, let's leave. House Lashar has been reduced to nothing, but as matters matter of factly. Perun is dead. We have slain most of the house. Only Grubbin and I remain. Lois looks down at the Grand Goblin. I suppose it is not so bad. And he looks to you. That's a very bad moment for that. Thank you. I couldn't have done this without you. Smile. Here in the light, you are once more at risk. You follow Velas and Groban out of the shadows and into the light. A worthy conclusion to our tale. It's a conclusion. It's the end. No, it's not the end. We haven't. I haven't. I still didn't see the change in Velas. It's not the end. We still need to get rid of his. Yeah. It is the end. No, I can do this Lord, we've done it! Velas is done! Yay! Okay, and that concludes today's part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!